Now we've got to be able to find the point of intersection of these two lines L1 and L2. And as you can see, I've drawn a sketch to illustrate this. I would do this in any vectors question. This question gets very complicated further on down and it's just handy, as I say, to have a sketch. So how do we find the coordinates A where they intersect? Well, you should understand the basic form of the vector equation of a line. To get to any point P on the line, any variable point P with position vector R, what you need to do is go to a known fixed point on the line, let's say it's A, and it will have position vector A. Then you go any amount of a vector parallel to the line, which we're going to call B, and that will take you to a point P. That any amount is, I've called T, a variable scalar. So when it comes up to the two lines that we're given, okay, L1 and L2, we've got the position vector of any point on the line from the origin, as you can see that I've drawn on here. We're told the directions that the lines are going in, 4, minus 1, 3, okay, and 3, minus 4, 1. And these points are known fixed points on the line. Well, obviously, they're both exactly the same, and so that must be the point where they intersect. So, therefore, if we call that A, then A is clearly a point with coordinates minus 6, 4, minus 1. Okay?